For cheap Minecraft hosting, be sure to go ahead and check out Clovex.net. What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a typewriter effect in Tony Vegas Pro 11, 12, or 13. Now just before I get into this video, if you would like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now if you're wondering how this effect will look, well, take a look at it right now. Hopefully you like the effect. Now I'm going to be honest with you, the effect is time consuming to do, however as you've seen, it looks pretty good once you've done it. So here we are in Tony Vegas. Now if you're adding this on top of a video, you won't need to do this part. I'm going to add a background, so I'm going to come to Media Generators, then Solid Color. If you don't have this here, simply come to View, Windows Layout, and click Default Layout. From there, Media Generators, Solid Color, and I'm going to pick a white background. Simply drag it onto your timeline like so, X out of this, and there we go. Next thing I'm going to do is make another video track, so I'm going to right click here and click insert video track so it's on top. Now what I'm going to do is add some text, so legacy text because it has no background. And I'm just going to use heavy outline for this one. So I'm going to drag, drop it on top and there we go. Now the first thing we need to do is the little line when it flashes. Now it's actually very simple to do, so yeah, let's get into it. But first of all, the text size, I'm going to say around... 40 for me depends how many how much text you're gonna have pick the right size to just work it out before you get further on otherwise it'll mess up your whole thing so work out the correct size first I'm thinking 35 just to say safe now the next thing we need to come to animate now this part gets a little bit tricky and a bit time consuming but just pay attention and it will be super easy so the first thing we're gonna do is add this little thing itself now, to be honest, I don't like the blue outline, so I'm going to just come to effects and change it all up very quickly. Okay, so I've done the text how I'd like it. Now, the next thing, we need to come to the timeline. Now, make sure sync cursor to media timeline is checked. Make sure it's highlighted like so. And then we're going to come here, and every 10 keyframes, we're going to go ahead and get rid of it. So I'll show you that right now. Now, you can see this will go up. So once we get to 10 here, as you can see, we're at 10. We're going to come up here and simply delete it like that. And we're going to come back again to another 10. And we're simply going to go ahead and just put it back in like that. So I'm going to do that every 10 keyframes like this again. So deleting it this time. And then I'm just going to keep going like this all the way up until 3 seconds. So I'm going to go when it says that's at 3. So I'm going to speed all this up and I'll be back to you when I've done it. Okay, so I'm on to the last one now, and there we go, we're at 3, I'm just going to go ahead and check if I've got it alright, so, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, nope, yes, nope, there we go, just had to double check that, and now I am correct, so the next thing we got to do is add the letters in themselves, so it's very simple again, so, this time, instead of going 10 across, we're going to go about 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you can see we're at 5 here. Use this as a guideline. It will help you a lot if you know your 5s, which you should. Very simple. We're going to put each letter at 5 sec well, five milliseconds or 5 frames. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And yeah, then it goes to 30. And it resets back to 0. And then 5. Yeah, you get the idea. So we're at 5. And I'm just going to insert the first letter, which is a C. And I'm going to come across 5 again, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, add an A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, add an S, and this is the part I was saying is time consuming. You can see, depending how many letters you're going to have, it's going to take up some time. However, the effect looks pretty good once you've done it. So again, I'm going to speed all this up, and I'll be back to you once I've done it. And there we go, very simple, you can see the effect is actually only five seconds now there's one more thing you need to do if you come across five more one two three four five simply just add this right here add keyframe that means all the text is secure and no letters will go missing so we've basically done it so if we go ahead and watch this
Very simple to do. Now, if you want to add like a little pause or something, come back to Edit Generated Media. And here we go. So let's say after I've written out Casual, which is right there, let's say we want to add a little break. So I'm going to move these. So you can simply left click one, hold Shift, and click all the way up to the last keyframe. And then you can simply just drag them across. So there's going to be a little pause there. And this is how it'll work. So if we X out of this and play this, And you can see pause and there we go it looks pretty nice and that is how you do it it is very very simple to do and it looks very nice now one more thing you can do which makes it super powerful add some keyboard typing sound effects a link to this will be in the description to download i'm going to go ahead and drag it on right now and you can see this is what i have got now of course we need to line it all up so i'm going to find where we start typing and it's around here so i'm just going to use the frame there we go, right there. So I'm going to press M on my keyboard just before it, so like that, and it marks it out. Then I'm going to find where we stop, which is after the E. So right there we stop, I'm going to press M on my keyboard again, and that's just marked it out. Now this next part is actually pretty simple. We need to mark out the letters. So you can see C comes in there, and what we're going to do is find out where it comes in. So it comes in there, and then go two across. So one, two, press M on your keyboard. We've marked out the C. Now I'm going to do this for every single letter. So there comes A. So M on my keyboard. Then go back two across. Three, like that. And there we go. So we're going to have a three gap in between these where the letter starts. And then two keyframes here. And then one, two, three. I'm doing this for every letter to help with the keyboard typing effect. So I'm going to speed this part up. And there we go, I've marked it all out, and you can see that little gap there is the break we created. The next thing we got to do is sync all of this into place. Now it might seem like a lot, it's actually simple, so we just got to simply drag and just drop it there. So you can see when we press C, it comes up like that. So what we're going to do is simply using a lot of splitting, a lot of trimming. So S on the keyboard, drag it to the next sound, which is right there. And you can just slide it into this gap because we've marked it out nice and good. So I believe it's there when it comes in. So if we go ahead and watch this. There we go. Now it might not look the best yet because it's coming super fast and we haven't added it. So I'm just going to go ahead and sync all this up and I'll be back to you once I've done it. Face when I told her wanted to rap, told me to drop it with this nonsense or just watch my grades collapse. So either do it or love or just say how I'm living. Damn, it's some hard decision. Take it by the nine to five's been working five to nine. I'm driven, reminiscent of the times, writing raps and mathematics. Thought I had it all down like this one girl on my mattress, catching feelings because my music and all my music comes from you. But feelings only last a second. I got time for just a few when she says, You're always working. Okay, so I believe I've done it, and let's go ahead and play this. And you can see that is it. Now I know it's not fully synced, it's a bit difficult to do. So yeah, just take your time on this, you're going to get a very nice effect. And of course the slower the text is between each typing, it's going to be much easier for you to edit. But that doesn't mean you're going to put slow text. Don't be lazy, simply just edit it and you'll get a very nice effect. Anyway, that is it for this video. Hopefully it has helped you. And like I said at the start of the video, if you would like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter. I'll keep you updated when I'll be posting and what I'll be posting. Also be sure to go and check out my technology news channel. I'll keep you updated on the latest technology news. And finally, be sure to go and add me on Snapchat or just show a do throughout my day. So it's been Casual Savage here. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace. Oh,